Well, look at that. Isn't that a sight for so eyes? The beautiful Hosanna in the most perfect afternoon light. It seems as though he's spending quite a bit of time to fix the mast. And we were talking about. not affected him in any way his nose is still perfect his muzzles perfect he has got no sign of any injuries whatsoever now I wonder if he's gonna walk straight towards us it looks as though he is walking in our direction oh, careful there boy you can't stumble in the hurdle it's always funny when leopards look so beautiful as they emerge from this golden light and then at the last second they stumble it really does make me laugh so we're just going to take a little sneaky photo, just because it's the most perfect light. Isn't he looking magnificent? Look how broad his shoulders are getting. Hello, boy. It's wonderful to see him again. And you can see he's just coming around the back there, he's just coming to say hello to Senzo. And now he's just going to creep through amongst everybody, and I wonder if he's going to go to the lodge itself. It looks like that's where he's heading. Now, across the airstrip, look how he trots along the airstrip. He knows being out in the open is far more sort of insecure than being in a thicket, and that's why he trotted across the airstrip so quickly, is to just try and get away. And look, he's moving into that golden light. Is that not just absolutely perfect you can see him there he goes walking off in towards the sunset now hopefully he doesn't go into Chitwa camp which is looks like what he's going to at the moment so we'll try and keep up with him before he gets there little tail twitch because he's probably spotted something there's a lot of prey items around Chitwa you'll find a lot of bushbuck a lot of nyala so you might find that he spots those and that little tail will just show his excitement a leopard's tail is very expressive they often will have a situation where they twitch and move it when they spot something Right, let's keep up with him before he disappears because he is going straight towards the Chitwa hangars and, and well not the hangar actually, we've come from the hangar, he's going straight towards Chitwa's back of house, so where our antenna is these days and it's amazing, before we used to battle with reception on this particular area we used to really struggle, but now we've got a new little antenna in place it means that we can spend time here and be able to follow one of our favourite little boys and there he is, crossing the road isn't this magical, guys? And the light is just perfect for him at the moment. Oh, but he is really going to go into their camp at this stage, so we're not going to be able to follow him, I don't think, for much more than about five minutes. Hopefully it means that he's going to come out on the other side and go towards Chitwa Dam itself, although he seems to be moving... Oh, I don't know where he's going to go from here. It might be a long period until we're able to find him. He's busy sniffing around, so maybe he's caught the scent of something else. Hopefully it will mean that he's going to lie down at some point and just rest, and we'll still be able to view him. But it looks as though he's going to go deeper into the lodge, which is unfortunate for us because we can't follow him any further than where we are now. So it might be just a brief glimpse of our little prince. Look how he stops. He might have seen somebody. There's actually staff that walk around in this area. This is the back of house, like I say. So this is where the staff is and where I actually used to live. It's just to the right of where he is now. And this was quite a common thing for us. We often used to have leopards walking around, but it used to be Tundi back in the day and Mvula. Those were the two that we used to see around Chitwa Lodge a lot. I remember having Tundi once walk into my bedroom, which was quite an interesting experience. She, I think, got the same fright as what I did. Oh, he's lying down for us. Perfect. So let's try and get around quickly and see if we can't get a better view of him now that he's decided to lay down as though he's just settled in a nice fast is going to be perfect to be able to see him and to be able to kind of camouflage if there is potentially any prey animal here it's amazing actually how well he does blend in now so I'm just going to try and turn Senzo, you just tell me when you get a nice gap, but I think from where I am now should be good. I'm just going to come around this way. Thank you, Hosanna, for stopping. Oh, he tried to go after a little button quail. You silly boy. That's not enough food for you. You're a growing lad. You need to get something bigger than a button quail. But there we go. Look at that. Doesn't he just look so majestic these days? And his eyes almost seem as though they're going a deeper orange day by day.
Virginia, you want to know how often Hassan is with Shungile and how is she after the fight with Tandi? The answer to the second part of that question is we have no idea. We have not seen Shungile since that fight. We don't know how she is. The tracks, there was lots of tracks for females all over the place. So I'd imagine that she's okay, that she's been able to move through. Where, where are you walking? Lots of stuff in your face. You can see how he's closing his eyes as he walks. See how he just comes right past the vehicle, just looking up at us. That's the edge of the car. Are you going to just sniff around the tires? And there he goes. Um, so we don't know how Shangile is. We've got no idea at the moment what her condition is. We haven't seen her since that fight. But hopefully she's okay, given that we haven't found any tracks or any signs of a limping animal or anything like that in that area. The second part of your question, or the first part, but the second answer to your question, is that how much time they spend together is a complete mystery at the moment. I know that they did spend quite a lot of time earlier in the year, just after Karula's disappearance. They spent a lot of time together on Little Gauri. Since then, it seems to be less and less and less time. And in fact, the Saturday last week was the first time we'd seen them together in about three months, as far as I know. So they really don't spend much time together like they used to at all. And this is going to be commonplace. They are going to separate as siblings. Now, unfortunately, our little boy seems as though he's going to go and fix some cars at Chitwa because he's walking straight into the workshop at the moment and so while we try and figure out how we're we going to keep visual of him let's go to Byron who I believe has a playful elephant just like the playful Hosanna